reverse, reverse. Because the game was reversed. The Islanders lose 5 nothing to the Rangers. And this was the... I may as well stand on this side. We don't have any scores on this side. Um, so the Isles get Uno reversed by the Rangers. And immediately, we should have known this was bound to be a bad night when Semyon Varlamov got hurt in warm-ups. Clutterbuck dings him in the neck. And uh, yeah, so Corey Schneider dresses as the backup. We get Ilya Sorokin. Conflicting emotions, because we're excited for his first opportunity in the league. Uh, but we didn't want it to come like this. And also, it would show that there, there's room to grow. I don't want to criticize Sorokin too much. He knew he didn't find out he was starting until like 10, 15 minutes before the game, maybe even less. So um, for him, there's still stuff to take from it. You're not going to burn the tape completely. And I'm not going to burn the tape for this game. I'm going to clockwork orange this <laughs> if I'm Barry, if I'm Barry Trotz. Now, I'm not a Stanley Cup winning coach, but I did predict one of his line changes tonight. So I, maybe I'm on the level. Anyway, um, so the Isles... Shots were deceiving in the first because we didn't have any high danger chances, at least through two periods. Don't know if we had any in the third. I'm filming this right after the game. And uh, you know what? Didn't feel like it. we might have had one. We hit a post. I don't know if that counts. Obviously, it doesn't count as a shot on net. But all right. So back to let's talk about the game. Sorokin starts, gets a, a couple, uh, one or two saves in. And then you Noah know, Dobson uh, kind of fumbles with the puck. Two on one, Buchnevich. Shoots it right through Sorokin. Let's be honest. It's a two-on-one, so it's tough. Uh, you know, he has to play the pass. He has to prepare for, for a lot of things. And uh, Noah Dobson does a bad job here. I have cat hair on my shirt. Uh, puts, you know, Sorokin in a bad position. But Sorokin, a little swish cheesy on this one as it goes right through him and into the net from his countryman, Buchnevich. Um, so that's rough. As an Islander team that's really good at usually keeping high danger chances to a minimum, you would think that's perfect to wean the young guy into. Um, no, they decided to have their worst game under trots. Um, so that was the first goal from Dobson. Dobson would be at fault a couple of other times uh, in this game. Another one where he kind of fumbled with the puck in for, on his own blue line. Um, that turned into a Capo Caco goal that Sorokin had no shot at. Uh, now... Panarin gets a breakaway. This one, Mayfield uh, has a guy wide open in front of the net. Just get it towards the net, get a tip in, and it's 1-1. But fails to get it to the net. Gets cut off, blocked shot, immediately passed up to Panarin. Breakaway goal. Again, that one, not Sorokin. So it's a little bit back and forth on which ones are Sorokin's fault, which ones aren't. Uh, you could say the first two are ones where uh, he at least was put in a bad position. One of them he probably should have. Um, you can see the nerves a little bit. And his positioning was not good. Um, that, it's his first game in a league with a different uh, ice size. Uh, so the angles will be a learning curve. Also, the skill is a learning curve, as there are some good shooters in this league. Um, not to say there aren't in the KHL, but the NHL is chock full of them. Um, third goal. Third goal was a comedy of errors. Uh, Ross Johnson plays it back. Ross Johnson, I'll get to him, uh, plays it back. Not a bad play to play it back to Mayfield, but Mayfield fumbles with it, and he skates into the ref. We had, we had a couple incidents where we skated into refs tonight. Um, so it's just a clumsy game all around. And now this turns into uh, a one-on-one -on -one with Buchnevich and Sorokin. Now, of course, once again, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a bad situation to put... Sorokin in, but bad angle to take from Sorokin, who kind of olayed that baby uh, as it went bar down. Um, it was not a great angle. I think Arthur Staples cited a stat where 1.4% of shots from that angle went in last year. So you're going to play with some angles, uh, Mitch Korn, in practice uh, this week. Um, so there's some guys that are going to be going to be in the doghouse after this game. Barzal took three penalties. Johnston, we're here now. We're now we're going to talk about Johnston. Johnston tries to instigate a fight at the end of the game, gets a four mi four and ten, um, and I was just saying, hey, and I tweeted throughout the night. Uh, follow me at Belmont Punch. That hey, the 
the PK is looking aggressive and it's playing better. And of course, then Panarin scores on, on another one where Sorokin had no chance uh, because the Isles struggled, to, had struggled on this one to get the puck out. Throughout the night, the PK wasn't too bad. Um, six of seven, not bad. Faceoffs, once again, the Isles, uh, good in the faceoff circle. Uh, so <laughs> that's a, a surprisingly good stat through the first two games. Um, shots in the third, uh, the Rangers did a good job of like putting this one away, uh, obviously through offense, but in the third, you know, kind of, well, throughout the game, suppressing the Islanders offense, Georgiev didn't have to do anything tonight. Georgiev is good against the Islanders already. It's tough when you don't give him anything to even mess up. So, um, yeah, uh, so we saw some line blendering, uh, which is fair, uh, <laughs> uh, because when you're getting crushed, Got to mix things up, and uh, maybe you'll fall into something that works uh, organization-wise uh, with your lines. I'm not talking about top-down organization. Um, but uh, I don't think we found anything. Uh, I, do, I do think that we found, if Barzal continues to take penalties, the best alternative to benching, because benching's tough. He is the offensive player on this team. So the alternative is put him on the third line <laughs> with Komarov and Johnston, which is basically benching. And... Uh, uh, put Pajot up top, keep the second line together, stuff like that, keep the fourth line. Um, but the Rangers, now let's give the Rangers a little bit of credit. Uh, good forecheck they did to the Islanders, what the Islanders did the other night. Uh, the Isles couldn't get out of their own way. The Rangers couldn't get out of their own way, but also like the Rangers forced the issue tonight, like the, Angel the Islanders forced the issue the other day, uh, making it hard to get things going by bogging them down in the neutral zone and then their own zone. So the Rangers do that tonight. You got to give David Quinn some credit. Um, although it's 4D chess from Barry, uh, you know, letting David Quinn now trust Jack Johnson. Uh, so Islanders, who really won this game? All right. Um, so anyway, uh, Rangers looked really, really good tonight. Um, you know, if they get this defense, the Rangers are going to feel pretty good. Um, the Isles, um, don't worry, not soul searching yet, uh, but definitely many, many, many teachable moments um and good thing is you have a really good coaching staff to do that with so dobson i love you buddy noah dobson is in the doghouse um and uh, i i would be okay with him not playing on monday so that he can learn how to skate again that would be helpful don't worry i'm not going overboard with, with you know already saying oh but you wish you had taste it's too early too early dobson looked very good the other day looked horrible tonight it's two games. Anyway, that's it. That's it for my venting session, also known as my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, that means I'm deleting the channel. Goodbye. Anyway, uh, but we'll see you next time on Belmont Bunch, Monday uh, against the Bruins, back at the barn. Hopefully it inspires the troops. So we'll see you next time. Goodbye.